Right now everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, hope you are all well. As you can tell, it is later on in the evening, it is currently 10 to 6, this time here is 10 to 6, sorry, not 10 to 5, um, my watch hasn't changed. Um, the reason I didn't pick the vlog up this morning is because I didn't feel too great when we were going out this morning. This morning we have been to a concentration camp, it was... Sachsenhausen. Sachsenhausen, yeah, yeah, Sa yeah I remember, yeah, Sachsenhausen, yeah, Sachsenhausen or something, along those lines. It was really fun. I did film a little bit, I didn't film it all because there was parts where I just felt like, oh, it feels a bit weird recording this. Um, but it was really knowledgeable and I would 100% recommend going, If I will probably say this later in the vlog again when I pick this back up, but I would 100% recommend going if you're ever in Berlin for more than two days I would say if you're only here for, uh, it depends when you come, if you're, here, if you're here in the winter and you're here for only two days I would definitely probably recommend checking the Christmas markets and the, the, super, the, like the mall that they call it here out and all the other bits and bobs that you might want to check out because this was like a 45 minute train journey out of the city, the tour that we were on, I, th I mean we, we left here what, 10 past 8 ish wasn't it's it six it's about a six to seven hour day that it can be so it is most of your day like I say we got back walked back to the hotel room we've just freshened up there now and i am currently uploading the vlog that is gonna go out on yesterday's vlog so yeah i would definitely if you're here for like three more days well over two days basically I would definitely recommend checking it out. We learned so much, didn't we, Katie? Yeah. Like, really obviously, good. Katie was wanting to learn, well, did do history in school and, and, and picked up a lot about the German side of, of it, yeah. History, yeah. So, oh, that is yeah, like the, the theme tune of Berlin so far for us. Ambulance, there's just a hospital just down the road. But yeah, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I am probably just going to play the clips without any music, without any sort of sound in it, because there is people talking. Um, so if you're wondering, it was very sombre, and I want that to sort of reflect when we're walking around, because it did, I think that is one thing I will say without getting too deep, like it, it did make you reflect quite a lot how like lucky and how fortunate that we are to have not been part of it, when you think it was only like, what, 60 to 80 years ago, something between them, there was a bit where we were walking through the kitchen bit. Um, I might vlog, like when I've put them on the vlog, I might name them, but there was a bit where we were walking through the kitchen bit and I did, I turned to Katie and went, it's actually crazy that like 60 to 80 years ago or something, like, cause my math wasn't on point. Um, there was actually like, this was working, like people were working in here and like yeah. slaves yeah. were getting like tortured and everything down here like we we found out that they were getting drowned in there if they weren't meeting circumsta certain standards and it was just like it was so sad as well like i i always thought the concentration camps and stuff were just for jews as well i didn't realize that it was for homosexuals it sounded like communists. it was a communist like political. Oh. Um, I think she's called them political prisoners or yeah. something. Yeah, like, I didn't realise all that until I went to today, like, and, and people might go, well, do but, like, I genuinely wasn't aware. I thought Hitler just had a thing for, like, against the Jews and the Jewish, the Jewish community, and I just thought that was all it was, and I was just so surprised that, yeah, it was like, there was, like, triangles and yeah, they had different, different badges things. and stuff, and it was, like, 17 or something, was yeah. it, or 12? Yeah. 17 or 18. Yeah, 17 or 18 of like different people that Hitler basically hated on and weren't sort of to be part of his society and I was just so surprised but yeah, I am going to play the clips now. I sort of, I don't hope you enjoy them, I would rather if you no, just use, to, it, use them to reflect a little bit and yeah, like if, I mean you won't learn much educational wise from me because I don't say much about it but, no, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, so just reflect basically on how and just try and be grateful i think especially this time of year like the weather as well like the setting that we were in for the weather was just it, it made everything a bit more eerie didn't it katie like with the fog the winter like the snow it was so cold and yeah we were in all of our like, yeah thermals, and, the, and we were getting told we were freezing and then we got told that they were basically wearing thin like, things as thin as pajamas and then so, clogs that were too big for them. Yeah. So they had Some of the stuff that, that Hitler like put in forced was just 
horrific wasn't it really but yeah i'm not going to get too much into it so yeah i hope you sort of just use the time to reflect when they're playing and just be grateful how lucky we are and yeah i'll catch us hopefully a bit more cheerful in the next clip
up your mans. Oh, absolutely. Seen that? As you can tell, we are probably we are well beyond probably we are back in the room um, right now. Just gonna get the there we go. Um, I'm quickly gonna show you through something that we picked up while we were out today. Before I go through a few things, just to finish off the vlog because there is a lot to go through. I'll let Katie get out before I break it one-handed. Bit happy because this was something that was made via glass blown, so felt like we had to pick it up. Oh, it was the red one we got, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that bauble. Let's try and... It says when it's focused. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. But yeah, this was picked up from the Christmas market store. I'll just quickly zoom in on the top there, just because it has Berlin on. There we go. But yeah, this was picked up from the Christmas market, the second Alexander Christmas market. Platz. Alexander Platz that we went to. The first one that we went to, we thought was the main one. And then, as we were walking, we were like, oh, there's that one with the Ferris wheel, which is the lovers you'll have seen in the vlog by now. Um, and we just thought that that one was just a, like a fairground almost, with like kids rides and the Ferris wheel, stuff like that. You alright? Yeah, I'm glad I've just... I'm just, I, I forget, I forget how you do that again. Oh god, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all, um, I'm just trying to. She looked at it as if like she'd just broke it or something, but so we thought that that was like the, the main, uh, not like as an important one, just leave it, it'll be fine. Um, just like an important one, I'm gonna have to bleep that key, potty mouth. Um, and then we, we sort of, we have tea at Fabiano, Fab, Va, Vabiano, I'd honestly, the worst place I've ever been. I'll get on to that in a second. Um, and so then we would go to the ice bar, but before we go to the ice bar, we're like, oh, we'll just walk through, see what it's about. Oh my God. About a hundred. Ice, ice rink, as you will have seen, all these different sort of shops. And we, we straight away just went, this is the main one, isn't it? So we're going to have to go back there tomorrow. It does look unbelievable. And the television tower, is it? The TV tower, yeah. The TV tower's right next to it, but we couldn't see that tonight because it was so foggy. So we couldn't see up past it. So we'll have to go back that way anyway. So you'll see that again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I mean, because we've just been on with that 
Vapianos. 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 Va oh my god. Even the names just absolutely horse shit. I mean, Liam. the the place itself was just honestly, I couldn't not like. How do you say not recommend? Like, wouldn't I would just wouldn't recommend it highly enough? Like, is that right? Wouldn't recommend it highly enough. Wouldn't not recommend. Wouldn't it. not recommend it higher enough. Oh my good lord! Basically, if you could like just not understand, don't go. If it was just the worst place in the world, it was like you have to. You go in, you get given a card, you order your own food. You go and collect your own food. You go and sit down with you. It was just such a faff, and then the food itself wasn't great. And I think, do you know what it is, right? I think because we were in quite, uh, we were just hungry. <coughs> we were just hungry, Kate, having a coffin fit. We didn't really, it, we couldn't find anywhere, could we, Katie, to go no. for food. And it wasn't like fast food. Yeah. Style, and then it, this ended up being fast food style. Yeah. Every everywhere so far in Berlin, that is sort of the one gripe I've got at the moment. It just seems to be fast food. You you go somewhere, you think it's a restaurant, and it's like literally just like grab and go. Like fast food is in unhealthy all the time, but like yeah, like there's a few pasta more... places and pizzas. Yeah. But I mean, suppose pizzas fairly unhealthy, but yeah, it was just I don't know. I don't know if it's because we were just so hungry and we were just like. We want to go and sit somewhere and have a nice meal. We thought that was going to be the place. And it just wasn't. But yeah, I honestly, I think, to be honest as well, a lot of it is because we're British. And I think we're very used to sort of waiters and waitresses being so great at their jobs. But then we were basically just... We were just It was like self-serve, wasn't it, Katie, well, pretty yeah, much? You went, you went to order. You went and ordered. you went and sat down with a little buzzer. And you drink. Then, Ah, and your drink that you get given. And then... Uh, then you go back, pick up your food. Food. Go, take it back to your table, eat yeah. it. And then take your little cards to then go... To pay. pay. Then you've got to and I was thinking, all oh, these cheeky buggers better not ask for a tip. Then we went to the ice bar after that, as you will have seen. Meh, I was, it was, it was cool, it was a good experience, I would definitely go back to the one in Amsterdam, I would definitely go to the one in Amsterdam and go back to an ice bar, because it was a cool experience, I was just a bit annoyed that the only thing that you could have when you were in there was a shot or beer, I'm not a big beer fan, it sits on my stomach just horrendously, so I will, I didn't want a beer, so we ended up with a Sprite, didn't we? That was the only yeah. soft drink that they had. And, the, and, then, and as well, to be honest, even if the beer range was all right, I would have probably risked it. But it was literally Heineken or Desperados, and I was like, sod that. So we ended up just getting a Sprite and then had a shot of Sambuca, which Katie absolutely loved. <laughs> no. It tasted like aniseed, not yeah. like aniseed. <laughs> But um, so then we just had that. We started walking home, thought we were getting followed, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> we walked out, lingered to get the directions up on our map. Someone followed us out, lingered, then started following us everywhere. So we sort of doubled back on ourselves. And I think it was just the paranoia. Also, yesterday's video went up late. I did get, it came up on my phone. Basically what happened was I explained this on Instagram stories. I left the ho we left the hotel room and the video was uploading. It had uploaded, it was just processing to upload. So it was like on 30 or 40%. We left, we get to the tram, the first tram stop, which was about five minutes down the road. By the time I get on the tram, I'm like, oh, check me, it should have uploaded by now. And it says copyright issue, um, copyright strike. Copyright claim. Copyright claim, that was the one. And I was just like, oh, well, I think this is just me being a bit inexperienced. I'd, I'd never, obviously, I've never experienced this. And I have uploaded a few hundred videos, and I know I, I know my channel isn't monetized anyway. But I was still like, I didn't want the strike on my channel because I've heard that they can. I don't know if it's when you get one, your channel can get knocked down, or I think I, th I feel like it's two or three, and then your channel gets wiped. But I was still either way just a bit scared and I was like, well not scared, but I was just like, ooh, I don't want to risk that. So I just delayed it, came back and I went on went on YouTube Studio on the iPad, said, oh, you need to go on it on the web, went on it on the web and then it literally just said, oh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it was like, oh, these are the two songs that it's, it's, it's been picked up. Um, and then 
it just went, but it's fine. It just said that you wouldn't be. Yeah, it wouldn't if be. If you were earning money. If I was earning money, it would just be demonetised. And I was yeah. like, oh, so I'm not going to get a strike at least. And that was the main thing. So sorry that it was late. It is up now, obviously. If you haven't checked that, I'll go back and check that one out first. Um, oh, the step count for the day. This is a pretty cool thing to do. I think, when, especially when you're on city breaks. We have, I've done 23 and a half thousand steps today, which is mental. I haven't even really been eating that much either, because when we went in the, holo the Holocaust, not the Holocaust, the concentration, concentration camp, we didn't eat until we were on the train back. How many steps did you do? 23 and a half. 26,071. Mm, little, nice little legs over here. Oh. <laughs> um, and then, oh, something I missed out yesterday was the Holocaust memorial that we went to in the morning. Um just crazy how sort of disrespected it sort of seemed when we went like kids just running around and stuff wasn't joking the kid on, and like laughing. joking on laughing on almost playing like it was amazing i get like not everyone's gonna go there and be like sad and depressed all the time but i think just at least out common like just be have a bit of decency and... this, well i don't know but they sounded german yeah as well i was almost like oh well it, yeah it was just like just maybe a little bit more aware yeah of what sort of happened especially probably... within their city like yeah. the, the, the memorials in their city it's not like but even so i'd imagine even if it was like adding our french kids going like they would they'd oh, be yeah. going there because yeah. they're learning about it well, so yeah, would just you would just yeah. sort of feel like be a I bit mean, more I suppose, I don't know, that just kids, though. yeah they don't really and then last thing i know i am aware this has been a long sort of sit down talk about um the camera has been playing up a bit i think i have fixed it now and put it back to auto Oh, it's just done. Sorry, it. I've um, <laughs> um, I do think it's back to normal now. Anyway, it just hasn't really been seeming to focus on anything. In some clips, some clips it's been brilliant. Some clips it's not. But hopefully, fingers crossed that that's sorted now. But yeah, that's about it. And also, just apologies for not picking these up much today. Like I said, I, I didn't really feel too great this morning, and then I didn't want to be like picking these up. Like, oh, hey guys, we're at the concentration camp now. This is bad basically like i didn't want to be oh this is sort of I sad didn't want to seem ignorant. yeah i didn't want to seem ignorant I, and like like i said before i just sort of wanted to film it to show you i didn't film everything like there was the bits with the where the people actually the got murdered the execution room which was station, just station Z, I think they said yeah it was, it was unbelievable like that's I, 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 yeah maybe. i would definitely just recommend it's going just, it was just yeah, just learned it's a, it's a lot, so much. Yeah. It, it, um, it was an important trip. And how much was it? Like 25 quid each? Yeah. So it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. um, and then your trains, but the tra I think they took for a 24 hour trip, ticket well, was like 10 or each, was it? 10 yeah, euros each? But you didn't have to do that. You could just do like the, one way tickets and I think it's like 3 euros. Yeah. Yeah. So. Days. It'll be cheap doing it that way, but. but yeah, I would 100% recommend going. Like I say, if you're in, even if you're not into that stuff, I would still recommend going just to open yeah. your eyes a bit more. Because like, you weren't really, not it really, more, it was more me that yeah. was, like, wanted to go and see that. Yeah, but you still enjoyed it. Oh, fairly enjoyed like, it, too. Yeah, uh, well, oh, it's nice. weird to say, isn't it? Like, you don't want to say enjoyed it, but like, as in, I was surprised by it. I didn't think I would go into it and uh, come out of it, sorry, and be like, like wow, like, feel like I've had me eyes opened massively yeah by what actually happened because it's like I, i'm happy to sort of admit it is just ignorant you know you go, the way you go about in the world the day you sort of think you're entitled to everything and everyone just seems to be in their own like lane and stuff like that and then you hear stuff like that that happened and you're like jesus christ i mean it's just mental like i said it before and i'll say it again like it wasn't even a hundred years ago that this was happening like what, not even a hundred years ago and mm. that execution house bit we were in was like she said it was just like a chicken farm wasn't it really mm. people would go in yeah, one end so and then yeah. and then come out the other end it was so well not thought come out, out the other end basically so well, yeah it was so like well planned yeah. in terms of the, how they would come in and they would go there yeah and go here and it was just just awful. insane and then like just the little things that the nazis would do oh, SS. just ss sorry yeah it was the ss the um in the camps yeah, no, yeah no. that's the expert over there but yeah that was all i wanted to sort of go over um and then yeah like i say when we got back from there talked about it and then we went out and it was just so cold to pick the camera up and 
then by the time I, I got to a certain point, I was just like, oh, I'll just leave it and pick you up when we're back. But yeah, hope you have enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. Um, we're closing in on 500 subs, so their subscribers mean a heck of a lot as we're closing in on 500. Like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you tomorrow.